But now this one, somebody has killed a person, then you, you give him a life sentence, and life sentence is calculated in such a way that after some years, some years, oh, he's a good conduct, he's what? The man comes back, oh, please. To President Museveni, if a death sentence is what it takes to stop murder, then so be it. You don't do that, you are finished. The judiciary took the most of his lashes for what he feels is the handling of criminals with kid gloves. The judiciary have a cultural difference with us, the Europeans. Some two weeks ago I saw that a court martial had sentenced an LDU who had killed people in Kamudini to life sentence. Life sentence. The president's castigation stems from what he described as the futile efforts to end corruption in a country where billions of shillings of public resources are embezzled year after year. Certainly for big offenses, there should be no bail until the, the, main, case, the, the, the main case is hard, unless it goes beyond, because we reduce it to, one, to 180 days uh, in case you are, you are kept in prison without going to court. So I think that is another weakness in the fight against not only corruption but crime in general. Museveni was speaking at the launch of a national awareness campaign against corruption. It is spearheaded by anti-corruption agencies. Many lawyers don't know mathematics, so when the, the auditor general comes up with a report with all those figures and the balance sheets, they don't even understand them. So prosecution becomes a little bit hard. And uh, because of that, sometimes the trials take long. But I have tried my level best, increase the number of judges, increase the resources. And we are ready and very ready, I insist on that, to re-engineer and re-energize the anti-corruption fight. The president tasked the management of the anti-corruption agencies to uproot wrong elements that have infiltrated the institutions, as well as doing away with the long bureaucracies that limit the public from contributing to the fight. Jackson Onyango, NTV.